Hey, what's up? This is Rob from Panther. Today, we're going to check it out how to animate comic book text in After Effects. So the first step is we're going to make the letter in Adobe Illustrator. Select the Type tool, click. I'm going to type in the letter V because it's easy. I'm going to press Ctrl Shift plus Alt, scale it up. I'm going to right click, create outline. I'm going to swap it from fill to stroke. So the black is going to be on the stroke. Click on the fill. I'm going to select the white color. I also going to increase the stroke thickness. I'm going to make it round, cap and corner rounded, and make sure to align the stroke to center. I'm going to use the weight on four. I'm going to press and hold alt, drag it. This way it's going to create a new copy. Right click, arrange, send back. And all I need to do now is create the extrusion only on the right side, only the extrusion that is going to be visible. So I'm going to select the pen tool, make sure that you're on the stroke, and I'm going to connect these. This is going to be like one side of the extrusion. This is going to be the second side of the extrusion. The bottom, be more precise. And here is going to be the third. And I also can remove the bottom letter V. I'm going to select the top letter V and I'm going to add a color. I also going to right click, arrange, bring to front. I'm going to make this uh, pink and I'm going to select the extrusions and I'm going to add color. Now you can see here this edge because it's on the top. I'm going to select the right extrusion, right click, arrange, bring to front. And we're going to need to create a pattern also. I'm going to click on the fill. I'm going to swap it. So the fill is going to be the black. I'm going to click on the stroke, click on the none, click on the fill. I'm going to select the circle. Press and hold shift plus odd, create a circle. Go to object, pattern, make. Change the type tile to brick by row. Increase the height and the width. I'm going to click up here to done, remove the circle. I'm going to swap it from stroke to fill and I'm going to select the rectangle. Press and hold shift. And here you can see the pattern in the strokes. Click on it. I'm going to right click, arrange, send to back. I'm going to make these dots a little bit smaller. So go to object, transform, scale. Uncheck the transform object and the scale stroke and effect. And here you can scale it up and down. I'm going to go with um, somewhere around 50%. Click OK. I'm also planning to add some shading. I'm going to select this yellow, press Ctrl C, Ctrl F, double click, select the direct selection tool, select the top two anchor points, and I'm going to drag it down somewhere here. And I'm going to change the yellow to black. I'm also going to change the color on this to black. Go to layers, create new layers, click on this arrow. And I'm going to search for the pattern. I'm going to click on here. Yeah, this is the pattern, the bottom one. And I'm going to separate it into a new layer. Double click, rename pattern. And we're going to need to separate the letter V. I'm going to drag and drop the letter V, which is on the top. As you can see, this uh, pink letter V. We're going to need to separate that. I'm going to rename it as. And here, the rest basically is the extrusion from the V. So I've got three things going on. I'm going to delete the top two. We don't need it. Go to File save as make sure to save it as adobe illustrator and now we're gonna go to after effects drag and drop the ai file here let's select composition and the footage dimension is going to be layer size click on ok double click on the composition and it's going to show up the layers separately i'm going to go here right click click on new click on solid i'm going to select a bluish color Click OK, click OK, and drag it to the bottom. I'm also going to drag the pattern under the colored background. We're going to work with that later. And I'm going to lock the pattern and the background. Now we're going to work with the letter V and click on position. Activate the stopwatch. I'm going to drag it to 0, 015. And I'm going to position this somewhere here. I'm going to move it a little bit more. I'm going to select this diamond, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Select the first diamond, press Ctrl C, position it somewhere here, Ctrl V. And it's going to move like that. Now we're going to work with the extrusion. Right click, go to create, select, create shape from vector layer. Delete the original AI file. Click on extrusion, type in the search path. We're going to click on the stopwatch on all the paths. And I'm going to bring this to the 0, 12 second. And now I'm going to select these two paths. Press and hold shift. I'm going to also select this path and this path in here. And also these paths. And I'm going to drag it in. So worry. there you go. I'm going to go here now, select these keyframes, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V, go to the end and select the first frames, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Now select all the keyframes, right click, go to keyframe assist, select easy ease, and it looks something like this. 
Now we're going to make the animation a little bit more bouncy. Select the keyframes only at the extrusion outline. Right click, go to keyframe velocity and we're going to type into the influence 45 by 45. Click OK and we're going to do the same thing with the letter V. Right click, keyframe velocity 45 by 45. Click OK. Let me check it again. Right click, keyframe velocity. I gotta go here 80. Click OK. Same thing here. Right click, keyframe velocity 80%. Click OK. There you go. Now I'm gonna unlock the pattern. I'm gonna select the pattern and bring it above the extrusion outline. I'm gonna collapse the extrusion. I'm gonna press Ctrl D on the extrusion. And make sure to toggle switch to so you can see the track mat pick whip and select the pick whip at the pattern and drag it to the extrusion outline. So the pattern is going to be only inside the extrusion now. Now select the rectangle, create a rectangle, something like this. And make sure to click here on the rectangle and create another rectangle. This is going to be a thinner one. Click on rotate. I'm going to put it something like this. And let me check the animation. When it's going to pop up, when it's going to start popping up the letter V, we're going to start the animation from there. So it's going to be somewhere around here. I'm going to click on the letter P for position and I'm going to bring these lines out. I'm going to activate the stopwatch and I'm going to bring it here all the way to the end. And I'm going to drag it, also press and hold shift to isolate and I'm going to bring it somewhere here. Select the keyframes, press F9 for easy ease. We're going to duplicate the letter V, press Ctrl D, and we're going to drag the shape layer's pick whip to V2. And it's going to look something like this. So mainly this was it. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye-bye.